morning. So we've had a bit of a line this morning because it was such a late one last night. Yeah, we needed it. <laughs> it's five to ten. We're checking out of um, Beach Club today. It's been such over. a good stay, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, the room itself, I think, is okay. It's just think the there's not a lot of storage space for clothes. So I think if you're coming for a long time, you there isn't like a drawers struggle. and stuff. Yeah. But other than that, it's a really nice resort, and we would definitely stay again. Yeah. So we're now heading to Hollywood Studios. We're going to ride Slinky Dog, and um, have lunch at Fifties Prime Time oh, Diner, know. which is the first for us. Yeah, we've never been there before. So we'll take you with us. <laughs> into the new way of getting into the park. There's a lot of construction as you can see to the left and to the right. And the tram no longer drops you off at the entrance anymore. Yeah, definitely allow extra time for the studio. Extra, extra time, because there's a hefty walk after the tram. And to the buses as well actually. And to the buses, there's a long walk to the buses. There he is. He got caught by the metal detectors. Not me this time. So we're at Hollywood Studios. We're gonna head in. So we're already in Hollywood Studios and Luke has said that he wants a strawberry acai already. This is, we just need strawberry acai, it's the most refreshing drink. It's like our go-to drink to cool down, strawberry acai. So if you've not heard of it before, head to Starbucks, you won't regret it. Yeah. It's well we were supposed to go to the annual pass holder early access this morning, but because we got in so late we decided not to. But they give you, they've given us an uh, anytime fast pass for Stinky Dog. Yep. So we're now going to go and ride that before lunch. So that's where we're heading to now. This is um, a very strange concept for us coming in the park late. Yes. We're, we're like open, open, park opening kind of people. We kind of come into the park when it opens and then leave about lunchtime. Yeah. So yeah, bit of a weird one for us today. But tonight we've actually been invited to the DVC event that's here. So we're back at Hollywood Studios again. Yeah. And that's when we're planning to do a lot of the attractions tonight. Yes. So it's so strange walking up here and not seeing Toy Story Mania and uh, heading straight down. Yeah. So you've got one man stream here on the right, but you used to be able to go straight down, but now you turn right. Yeah, let's see. Um, it'd be nice seeing it in the daylight, because obviously we saw it when we got here on the first night. That was like a crazy whirlwind trip yeah, on our travel day. <laughs> I'm thinking this is where everyone's going to be though. Yes. But it is really good when you come out the corner and see it. All, all the colour. Yeah, it's, this, this looks like Paris from here. Yes, yeah. A lot.
dog. Now, for your safety, remember to stay seated with all your parts and pieces. Absolutely amazing. It's a really good little ride this one. Yeah, it's a bumpy bit where we were like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. It's really worth the wait. Like we were just in the fast pass and we were like two minutes on, but I would wait an hour for that. I would wait an hour for that ride. Yeah, yeah that really is really good fun. Yeah. Here we go. So today it's a great photo pass photographer right opposite the alien and the claw. It was good, wasn't it? So we're now heading to 50's Primetime Diner for lunch. Okay. I always thought it was diner bit. Yeah, I thought it was di uh, diner, and no, it's cafe, yeah. It's our first experience in here, so hopefully it's a good one. Thank you. Catherine, visiting from England. England, that's amazing. You're welcome. Thank you. You're so welcome. Oh, sorry, I'll come round. <laughs> so we're enjoying some lunch here, aren't we? Yeah, Pan Cafe. And what have you got? I've got a vanilla diet coke. Vanilla coke. We've got a little TV just there. Our own personal TV. Are your elbows on the table? I know, we have told them that my elbows on the table. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be polite. <laughs> to start with, look at those onions. Look at those onions there. This is Luke's choice, but we're going to share them. Look you like that. the sun, don't you? I do like a few onion rings, but they are, look, they are big. Lunch has arrived. So I've gone for the basics like chicken and gravy and garlic mashed potato. Very home cooked home style. Yeah. Home style. And what have you got? Chicken pot pie. Look at that. That's really good. Luke's gone for the chicken pot pie. So, so good. Chugga, 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 good boy. 
already. So we just had our first meal in 50s Prime Time Cafe. Yeah, it was really nice. The service is good. It's like obviously no elbows on the table, stuff like that. Yeah. There, I think for an honest review, I think if you're on dining plan, I think it's a great idea. If you're not on dining plan, I think it's very expensive for what, yeah. it, is. For what it is. I mean, our food was great, but then when we look at the value of it, if you're not on the dining plan, maybe yeah. like the, the chicken pot pie was 21 and the chicken rich hat was 22. If you're looking for that kind of food, we would recommend Cracker Barrel off-site. Oh, yeah. fireworks. Um, so basically, Cracker Barrel, I would say, is a very similar experience. Yeah. So if you're on dining plan, then it's good. Or if you want to do um, this sort of meal in Disney, and stay in Disney, then just be aware that it is kind of expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's our honest review. Um, it's kind of cool how he sort of fed me the last little uh, sweet corn. corn. Yeah. <laughs> but we're now going to head into some shops and have a wander around. Yeah. We are shopping. Ooh. So we've got like we've got this, haven't we? It's just a uh, like tea light. You put a tea light in there, and it lights it up. And you got some trick or treat bowls. You've got some cookies. Luke's found a mug. He's coming over to show me. What have you found? Oh, we have to get that. Adventures, Adventures out there. It's really nice. Yeah, we're getting that. See up mug. And we've got some luggage tags here. How, really like luggage tags? Yeah. How much are those luggage tags? Twelve ninety nine. They also got bad. those mugs. Those new mugs. Right? So we're gonna go and check out some uh, new mugs that they've got. <laughs> Alien. <laughs> you like that one? I like that one. I do like that one. It's got the Pixar on the side. How much is that? $16.99. We are at the mugs. Luke is on the lookout. Luke, you're not seeing a mug you like? Is that a no for a mug? No, I've got one so far. <laughs> That's insane. I seriously thought you were going to get one from here. I know. I think we do have quite quite a few. Oh, I like that. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. That's nice. That is nice. I do like that. That's one to think about. Definitely. This may just be coming home with us. Quite heavy. It is quite heavy, but thirty-nine ninety-nine. That's not bad. No, yeah. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock and our room is ready at um, the Wilderness Lodge. We got the notification pop up on our phone, didn't we? Yeah, because we're going to have a late one again tonight with DVC. We're going to um, head out the park now, go to the hotel, have an explore. Yeah. Um, maybe go in the pool, I don't know, maybe have a nap. We just want to have like a catch up on sleep for tonight. <laughs> yeah, just basically make use of the hotel because we're only here for one night and I, I want to really, really enjoy it. Yeah. And then tomorrow. Um, I think we have to go decide our plans for tomorrow, so we'll get everything. We'll never think about that. <laughs> just left Luke with the bags and um, so we're doing the same thing as we did at Beach Club where I've dro dropped him off at the entrance I've gone and parked and I'm gonna go meet him in the lobby now we're gonna go and check out our room
Bobby, but he's just texted me saying he's gone up to the room, so I'm gonna go and find him now. So we've just checked in at our room at Wilderness Lodge, yeah. one of the dream, dream list hotels. Yeah, and the service has been great. We've just had Troy, who's brought our bags up, and we, we were chatting for so long, so big thumbs up for Troy. Great service. So when you walk in, you've got the coffee machine, and you've got some drawers here, and you actually have got a fridge in there, which is really good. Let's have a look. So, nice Empty big fridge, fridge yes. which is really convenient. And they give you some tea and stuff. And then you come through here and you've got the like sink area. Just close this door. Vanity. Toilet so double sinks. And oh, ooh, some cooling nice. aloe gel. Aloe gel. Ooh, that's cool. And then they even give you some mouthwash. Mouth we didn't have that at Beach Club, did we? No. And then this is such a nice shower. And look. Oh look, it's got it's got Disney characters. Disney characters. So it looks like Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale, yeah. And is that Miko? Miko looks like Miko. Yeah. And Bambi. And Bambi. So really nice shower. And the toiletries there. And then come into the we've got the wardrobe area here which has show you design here. Iron and ironing board. So we've got the hangers. Uh, the safe's on the side. Board. Iron and ironing board. And the safe's just in there. Yeah. So it's a little so it's bit smaller small. than the beach club. So it wouldn't fit a laptop, but it's okay. Yeah. And this is the room itself. Wow. So you've got obviously lo lovely, lovely woodwork here. And what's really cool is you've got the squirrel there, but you've also got the light switch is built into the wood. Oh yeah. They're just so cool. It's really nicely done, isn't it? Really nice. And you've got the pillow here. Which looks like Thumper. Got Thumper on there. I don't know if these beds are slightly bigger than Beach Club as well. They look the same. And then you've got a nice picture from maybe Yosemite. And then lovely features, nice big TV. So this actually I think comes out a little bit. Yeah, it's on like a bracket. Yeah. And the coat hanger here, you've got your Fab Four characters there. You've got Donald. Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. Yep, you've got some leaflets here, you've got some private dining menus. And what's the drawer space like? Just nice big drawers there. Nice big really drawers. good. So you've got three in this room here. Beautiful. Great space. And then this light up here, I just want to show you this light up here, which is so cool. And the switch is actually at the bottom underneath the mirror. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you can like just dim you it if you dim want. Dim it if you want, so that's good. Mood lighting. And let's have a look at the view. So they've got a balcony. Now we didn't book we booked the basic room, but we ended up with quite a nice view. Oh there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll head out onto the balcony. Oh, so you've got a nice two-seater there. It is a little bit noisy at the moment. But look at that view. See magic, you can see the uh, castle. We've got Space Mountain, Contemporary, and Bay Lake Tower, and you can also see the cabins. So, what do you think? We have a view of Magic Kingdom. That's I mean, amazing. Seriously, that's crazy. Yeah, the guy that checked us in said that there used to be trees there, they've been cut down like when the cabins were built. Yeah, but we should be able to see the fireworks tonight. So yeah, a really lovely hotel. So we're gonna go and explore now. So we're just gonna admire the view into the lobby from the sixth floor. It's beautiful. And you can see all the details on the lamps, on the lights. We've got the animals there. We've got like the totem pole here on the side. And then you've got all these cool little details, all the fossils. And this is just literally in the corridor on one of the floors. See Whispering Canyon down there. Whispering Canyon, we were there in May. We sat over in that bit over there. Yeah. Table right down there. Just there. And if we turn round, we're going to get a view of the pool. I just duck. Let's go down and have a closer look. If you go down one level, there's a terrace down there. Oh, yeah. Come down to the fifth floor where we notice this sort of balcony area. Yeah, a little viewing area. It's open 7.30am to 8pm. It's got some rocking chairs. Uh, 
We love our rocking chairs. So this gives a fantastic view of the, the pool and the lake. And the river. And you've got some seating here and a table. So you could bring a drink out here and just sit and watch the world go by. This goes all the way down from inside the lobby to outside. What have you found? Disney's Railroads. Disney's Railroads. And you've got a great pin station here, haven't you? Yeah, we've got the um, Copper Creek pin. Wilderness Lodge. I think we're going to have to buy the Wilderness Lodge pin. Got the hoop to do with you, Chippendale. Yeah, we'll come back and get this. Yeah, so there's plenty. Oh, this is the one we got last time, wasn't it? Yeah, they've got a really good range here. So you can see this, uh, the trail of water that's coming from inside the lobby all the way down. Yeah. And obviously we came here last in May. Uh, and it was a bit cloudy in May. It was a little bit cloudy, so we've got uh, slightly better weather this time around. Yeah, we're going around to get Overlook again. Yep. And that's the Copper Creek Falls. Take a enjoying in with the dancing. <laughs> you won't get in the pool. <laughs> So it does, in fact, come all the way from the lobby, through the waterfall, under the bridge, and into the pool. It's a very unique feature. Oh yeah, a little slide there. And there's some sort of uh, dance class going on over there at the pool. <laughs> you got a salon by the springs the there. Geezer. Yeah, let's go and see the geezer. That's like the main attraction here. <laughs> and you've got a hot tub here, or some sort of spa. Got a uh, kids water play over there, which looks really fun. Just seen the uh, bucket tip over there. And then just behind the pool, you've got the uh, geezers, which go off uh, I'm not sure of the frequency, how often they go off. It doesn't look like it's gone for a while. You're going to see the point of it here. Yeah. What do you think of the resort then? This is your birthday it's, present, one of them. It's, it's stunning. I mean, the, the whole waterfall and the pool area, and it's just got a really nice feel to it. Yeah, it has. I definitely, this already, I'm in love with this resort. Feeling like this one night is definitely not going to be enough here. We're going to have to come back for an extended stay. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go around and see the Point um, Bar and Grill, I think it is. Oh, I think it's going to go now. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> Just as we walked away, the geezer went. <laughs> there it goes. So just over on past the, the main geezer, you've got the Geezer Point Bar and Grill. Which I bet is lovely to sit out here at night. It's quite open, you've got some fans, you've got some also some seating area out here as well with the boats. I think this is where the um, pageant, water pageant comes along. Ah, so this could be quite popular to watch the water pageant come past. This is lovely. You've got quite open the seven seas of the You can just see around the corner the Bay Lake Tower. So we've just been down in the pool for a bit. Yeah, I went on the slide, absolutely so much fun. Rich went on like three <laughs> times. I went on once, it's a really good little slide. I just kept wanting to go round and round and round. Such a lovely pool, really quiet and like, 
there was just like no one there. So plenty of sunbeds and. There's a massive difference in terms of the business between Boardwalk and Wilderness Lodge. Yeah. So we're heading down now. We're going to go and get a snack and a drink. Have a look around the shop. I've been going on at Luke about I want a cupcake. Rich I want a cupcake. A cupcake. <laughs> and then we're going to chill. So. Let's go. That's so cool, that photo holder, which replicates the one outside. Let's see how much this picture is. Just 39.95. I may have to show Rich that picture when we get when he comes back. They've also got the Wilderness Lodge picture, which is 35. That's really nice. Pins. That's a cool pin different and that pin. They have a range of essential foods and drinks here as well like bread and fruit and cereals and all the kind of chips and frozen goods. And those nice drinks and they've also got all your essential like toiletry stuff. Just heading down to Royal Fork, which is like the quick service. Hopefully, yeah. you're gonna get a, a drink and a cupcake. Rich has mentioned it's at least 53 times. Cupcake, cupcake, cupcake. <laughs> 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 I thought I might get the cupcake in my face. <laughs> <laughs> One. It's like a um, fire and stove it's one. Bear claw, oh, a bear claw. That looks like a chocolate chip one. I'm going to go for one. You're going to go for a chocolate chip one? Yeah, what are you going to That looks so good. I'm intrigued as to what this uh, mini one is. Hmm. So I'm just working my way through the strawberry mini cupcake and it's a major sugar overload right now because I've just cut into the middle and there's like this really thick like jam type liquid inside it's like so so sweet it's, it's really nice but yeah sugar overload right now <laughs> 